Hello, I'm Jeremy Marshall, brew monster of Lagunitas. We're sitting here drinking a Contents Under Fresher. This year's celebration of the hop harvest in a glass. percent of the entire world's beer is brewed with dried hops. Now, wet hops is everything up into that drying point. You, you cut them, you get them really cold, and you rush those into the brewing process. So the idea behind wet hop beers, it allows you to capture all of those nice things that are driven off in the hop kiln and lock it and capture it into your beer. You wanna get the freshest flavor possible. Through drying them, if you step into one of those hop kilns, it smells delicious. And that's a great thing to experience. Problem is, all of that aroma is what's not going into your beer. And so fresh hopping captures that aroma. We can brew an IPA whenever we want. We can brew one right now, we can brew one tomorrow. It doesn't matter because the hops aren't fresh. Dry hops are perfectly good, but then you have that 0.1%. Beers like contents under fresher. Hops is not grass. You don't just put seeds in the ground in April and then get a crop in September. It's a lot of planning, it's a lot of infrastructure. Think of uh, harvest as an apple crop or a grape crop. I mean, it's, they're ripening as we speak. These, these hops up here are changing every minute. There's several hundred different compounds that are terpenes or terpene-like compounds within hops that make up the aromatics. So it's a really complex system. What we're trying to do is, on the grower side, maximize those flavor and aroma compounds to create impact. You can get anything you want. This hop can give properties of blackberries, cedar, pine, uh, music festival armpits, every fruit under the sun. I said under the sun because there could be some weird stuff on other planets that are grown in like moonlight that, you know, we're, we're, we're waiting for this, but uh, we haven't found it yet. The terpene and or oil profile of these hop cones, it all develops in those final few days leading up to harvest. So the, the day that the farmer picks to harvest is very, very important. You can spend all year long growing a really nice crop of hops and you can screw the whole process up at harvest time. You, if you pick them too late, they're gonna be over the hill. And if you Somebody's pick them early. Me. I smell it. Bring that shit over here. <laughs> You're gonna have hops that will mature and be ready at specific times. And we go out in the field every day and the best way is just to, to sample the hops, rub them, put them by your ear, give them a little rub and smell them. You get a feel on the cone to see if, it's, if it feels like it collapses when you're squeezing it, mm -hmm. then the, it's not quite ready yet. It's not ready. So if it has some bounce. Bounce. Yes. I like that. We'll bring it in from the field, basically pull all the hop cones off the vine, and in that process, there's vegetative matter that comes off with those cones. The goal is to separate the, the leaves and stems, which have no brewing value to Jeremy. We rush them here as quick as possible, so they just cut straight down. So we actually like have this beer ready. It's already been brewed when the hops get cut, so that we time the merging of two celestial bodies. The beer already brewed and these wonderful bins and bins and bins of hops come together and marry in divine matrimony and make this amazing beer. So as soon as the hops get in, put it in the beer. So your beer better be at the point that it needs to be ready. The timing of it is the most crucial thing. We let it extract in the tank. There, there's a little bit of yeast action. The solvent of water and ethanol act on the terpenes and the hops. They extract all the little things that we don't know about. And you lock all that into your beer and you just say, hey, that's a good beer. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. 